24 years old. Quantico 15, Hanoverian Gelding. They're competing in the second World Cup qualifier here. They had super results on Lyon last month, finishing ninth in the Grand Prix and eighth in the freestyle with 76.420. Juan is such a showman, has some really fantastic music and scores great artistic presentation. So look out for that. Some really modern music that he chooses to use. He put his floor plan together with his dad, his hero, the Olympic rider Juan Matute Senior who competed in the Olympic Games in 88, 92 and 96. And apparently his mum chose the music. Just losing a little activity in the PF. I just feel, again, like yesterday that I just want to <coughs> correct steps in the PF. Just like to see a little more activity for the really high marks. Good over track in the walk. Stretching nicely. Just missed. I thought he was going to ride once, but actually it's two, so just some mistakes there at the beginning. And now into the ones, much more secure in the ones there. Unfortunately, this is a partnership of movements, so the twos, the ones, and then the canter pirouette, so he is not going to get a red indicator. Sorry, he isn't going to get a green indicator for that combination of movements. Much better this time. Lovely balanced flying changes. Again, nowhere to hide doing it on the center line towards the judge at sea.
Again, a difficult transition there from the canter half pass into a PF pirouette. And a bit of Bruno Mars to get him going. This music matches this horse so well and really shows off Juan's personality. He really is such a showman. Lovely activity in the passage. Great PF this time, maintaining that level of activity here. Really picking up some great scores, lots of 7.5s and 8s from the judges. And there we have it, the trademark Juan with your ticket on, smile. And the crowds are going wild. The final Spanish rider into the arena, and he can always put on such a great show. Fantastic job from Juan and Quantico. What a man he is indeed. We heard the story about Morgan's Gus, but Juan, in May 2020, he suffered a brain bleed and was in a coma. He made a remarkable recovery after a couple of really serious operations and was back in the saddle after just three months. It is so good to see him back in the arena doing what he does best. One of the nicest guys in dressage. I was honored to stand alongside him to host the FEI Awards in 2018 and 2019. And what a fabulous job he's done in the arena tonight. We said he scores highly for his artistic marks and those are incredibly high again today. But have they done enough to go into the lead? Have they done enough to overtake Beatrice? who is at the top at the moment. I think it's going to be very, very close. There's Juan's dad. 78.160 into second place. 72.4 technical, 83.920 artistic. Fantastic job by Juan, not quite his personal best, that's 80%, but incredibly close. So just two combinations now to go. And in next, it's the, the winner from the short Grand Prix yesterday and the rider for Germany, Frederick von Trez and Bluetooth OLD, the 11-year-old Oldenburg Gelding by Bordeaux. Yesterday, they won with 71.895. They are a new partnership, and Frederick is at the top of the World Western European League World Cup standings. They competed in Herning in the World Cup just last month and were 10th in the freestyle with 75.715. Can they be top of the leaderboard again today and pick up those 20 points? It's going to keep him at the top of the standings. He scores well in the extended paces, which we will see now. The extended trot here covering the ground.